Number 52. Brian Allen pedaled a human-powered aircraft across the English Channel from the cliffs of Dover to Cap Grenet on June 12, 1979. Letter A. He flew for 169 minutes at an average velocity of 3.53 meters per second in a direction of 45 degrees south of east. What was his total displacement? All right. So fairly straightforward. Here's the picture. Um, here's the east direction. Here's the south. And he's flying at an angle 45 degrees east, uh, south of east. So that's depicted in the picture. His initial velocity is 3.53 meters per second. And they gave us the time of 169 minutes. But I have to have consistency in my units here. So if this is in seconds here, then this also has to be in seconds. So let's just convert the minutes into seconds, right? Just multiply it by 60 uh, seconds over one minute. They cancel. And now we'll have... 169 times 60. So we get um, 10,000, I'll call it 10,100, okay? 10,100 seconds. All right, cool. So now total displacement. Um, they tell us the, they want the displacement. He's flying in a straight line, right? Or uh, So there are no X and Y components we need to calculate for this. So it's a very uh, fairly straightforward problem. It's just average velocity will equal the displacement over time. His average velocity is 3.53. The displacement is what we're looking for, and the time was 10,100 seconds. So simply his total displacement will be 3.53 times 10,100. And that works out to be, and yeah, let's see what we'll do here is, we'll, yeah, we'll do it in scientific notation. So we got, we got 3.57, right? 3.57 times 10 to the uh, 4. And that is in meters. Great, so that's his total displacement. Easy peasy. Let's move on to letter B. Allen encountered a headwind, uh, averaging 2 meters per second, almost precisely in the opposite direction of his motion relative to the Earth. What was his average velocity relative to the air? So basically what's happening is, in terms of the picture here, Alan is experiencing a headwind or a wind that is opposing his motion, and that wind is moving at uh, 2.00 meters per second. So this is 2.00 meters per second. So if we think about it, if he's moving in the southeast direction, right, at a velocity relative to the Earth of 3.53, and there is a headwind or a velocity opposing his motion here, of two meters per second, then to find his velocity relative to the wind, right, we would have to add them essentially together. Or in other words, uh, we would basically do this, right, that the, that his, um, uh, that Allen's velocity relative, right, to the wind would be equal to Allen's velocity, I'll call it VA, minus then uh, VB. Right, or V, I'll, I'll say, yeah, V air, okay? So his velocity relative to the air or to the wind, right, will be equal to 3.53 minus, and I'll call this a negative 2.00. Why is it negative? Well, because it's supposing his motion. So I'm just saying if this were being the positive value, then the opposite direction should be the negative value. All right, so we have a simple just addition here, so this should be 5.53 meters per second. That takes care of that, so that's letter B. And then it says, what was his total displacement relative to the air mass? So now all we have to do is use this velocity now to calculate that. So for letter C, let's place that over here. So his average velocity then is displacement over time. And the velocity that we're now using is 3.53, excuse me, 5.53, equals X over the same time, right, of 10,100 seconds. So now X should simply be so 5.53 times 10,100, and we get a value of 5.59. So 5.59, 5.59 times 10 to the fourth, right? Yeah, times 10 to the fourth meters. So that would then be his uh, displacement relative to the air mass. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Uh, please just hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. And I will see you in the next lesson.